Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Beastars season 2 episode number 6. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, Ligoshi was undergoing his training, uh, his training to, you know, uh, calm his instincts and uh, like which is obviously required for him to do because he wants to protect the Harvey Force. Now, obviously Gohin is training him and he like he, like he is like you know one of those proper like uh, adults uh, who like responsible adults like he doesn't want uh, you know your son to like miss classes if he like does some training with him so obviously like he wants the best for Ligoshi he told him like you go to school you do your own job do what students should do like hang around with friends and everything but uh, after that you do the training with me and keep in mind that you should not touch uh, meat non-vegetarian things otherwise you're like obviously the training will uh, be in vain so that was it M most probably that was something that i like he said to legoshi and he like gave him a f like a haircut and a full like makeover which um <laughs> I, it will take a little bit of time for me to get used to <laughs> anyways that was the whole thing with Ligoshi and there's this whole thing with Juno and um Louis uh like in the beginning they were like dancing and everything so I'm not sure like if like it, it is going in that direction as I am suspecting it too let's wait and watch that and also Louis is confronting his father about the whole thing with Shishigumi and like saying that I like don't want to like you know become a beast star stuff like that so yeah and he's like at, holding him in gunpoint so let's just see what like happens after this so yeah without further ado let's get started with Beastars season 2 episode number 6 all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timing here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. I'm, I'm like looking at the lyrics like, like I never like noticed it but like this is like he's saying that uh, whose number will come today or something like that like because of his instincts and stuff so this is like obviously the opening is also s saying something like that you know the instincts and stuff and this season is also based on it so I'm guessing this will be like this season will be more you know, uh, Legoshi trying to conquer his instincts as he's doing. So yeah, like season one was him always fearing, and then you know, like fearing his instincts and not like going close to the herbivores in fear that he might you know jump on them. But this season he is thinking that no, like this won't do. Like I'll have to like you know do something about this uh, because obviously he likes Haru and everything. So, like, he's being proactive this season and doing everything to prevent things that, like, his instincts and everything. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. His dad will be like, okay, let's we'll take the pen and let's see. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, he... damn, he looked through him. <laughs> wow. Ooh.
Oh my god. Yeah, as I suspected, like he is awkward. Who took his own life? Oh boy. Lewis, you're, you're like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you cannot. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> like he is like, yeah, I know you, son. Like I, I've, I've been with you from like, your childhood. So, oh, this is. What was her name? Oh God. I forgot her name. Hundred percent vegetable juice. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he like he's not eating, you know. He's extremely, you know, malnutritioned because of the thing, the whole thing with the Shichigumi. I'm sure, like, uh, this kind of gave him a lot of energy. Yeah. He, he's been starving for a long time. Eight years. Wow. <clears throat> Mm, yeah. Oh, the line is here. Hmm. What's going on? Ha! Damn, this is one crazy dad. No, I'm sure you'll be able to return, you know, when you'll be strong enough to, like, bear everything. Like, he's thinking he cannot go back, but that is because he's weak, still. Like when he really will be the leader of the Shishigumi, that time, like, I'm sure he'll be able to come back. Like when you're strong, you can do anything, you know, you forget your past and like start over again. Oh, yeah. Kind of chewed him, didn't he? Oh no. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm sure it's some about something that Okay. Oh no! <laughs> the things it comes up with, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, research on fangs! <laughs> what else do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like she's like oh is that so oh, thank you he isn't even not even like you know 
understanding why Juno is hesitating. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> We had <laughs> Oh my god, this... Okay, this is a weird mood. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, she, he really is doing a research. <laughs> There's nothing deep about this. <laughs> and she's disappointed. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is that vegetable juice? Oh, this <laughs> Legoshi's. <laughs> oh yeah, Legoshi's. You know, doing the whole training. So <laughs> one week. Okay. Okay. Let's see. How did he improve? Damn! <laughs> yeah, he's all calm. Yeah, he has reached that level, you know? Like, what do you call that? Um, enlightenment. His tone of voice is calm and, you know. Wow. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. Damn, he really, you know, did it. <coughs> Only one week, it needed one week. What the? What's the names? Yeah. Oh, wait, he asked the names? Damn! The burden of life, as he said. What the? Oh, damn. He's so calm, you know? Like, the punch was coming and he was like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm sure you'll be able to do good in tests, you know? 
like he's calm and everything like his concentration is better oh he's f fell asleep <laughs> okay that can be helped oh this is the same way you know like when he's not seeing things only this man what oh haru <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't go meet her like for a week. But it was his training arc, you know? <laughs> hmm. Well, obviously, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like just like tell her like what was what you were doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, the metaphor. Mm. yeah like i was thinking like the things that she wants and she thinks about it's not the same <laughs> he was eavesdropping that person no he is enlightened you know he has gone through his training arc Okay, she <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Yep. Okay, well, <laughs> completely different, you know, <laughs> opposite <laughs> state of mind, both of them. Okay, let's see. Let's see if Bill can do it. <laughs> oh my god, he's here. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's a bear, isn't it? Oof, damn. Strength. Brown bear. Yeah, it was... Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's one thing. <clears throat> oh, there's a game? What game? <clears throat> oh. Jaw pool? <clears throat> Damn, they're doing it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> My jaw's fired up. <laughs> wow. And Legoshi is vegetable soup, so... Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see the training. Did it like. <laughs> Come on. What? Okay, so they're going to like pull it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. This is like arm wrestling, you know? Okay, I kind of expected this, you know why? Because he is not eating like meat and stuff. I think so. Because you know the food, the meat and everything, it gives nutrition and all. Like that carnivores need. I think so. Like, I, I, like one part of me was thinking he'll be able to do extremely well, but one part of me was thinking maybe he won't be able to do it. He has been eating vegetables continually. <clears throat> no, that was your mental training, you know? Like you're strong in that now. Like if you had to play chess with him, <laughs> I'm sure you would have beaten him. <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> But obviously, like, Legoshi is not consuming meat and uh, I'm sure, like, uh, like the amount of nutrients that he needs, uh, like, they're carnivores for a reason, you know? Like, herbivores have a different, like, eating patterns and carnivores have different eating patterns. The way the stomach works are also different. So the way they, like, you know, take nutrients, makes yourself stronger, is different for them. So if suddenly like Legoshi started, you know, eating vegetables and everything, not like not even eating, like touching meat. So obviously he is, you know, he's sharp. He is uh, like his mental, like every his mental uh, like training. That this was like his mental training, and he was able to like do that properly. But that means that his strength has reduced. So. Like, this was what I was thinking before, that he needs to consume meat. Like, that's one thing that he won't be able to put beside, like, behind him. But, but he, like, like was successful in, like, uh, making his mental, uh, like, structure in a way that he won't, you know, jump on meat. Like, he would be able to control himself. Like, that's the main thing that was needed. And he did it perfectly. So now, I'm sure, like, uh, if he starts like consuming meat again, 
um, <clears throat> which he obviously will need to do if he needs to become stronger. Okay, that's it. Uh, stronger to protect uh, like you know Haru and every everyone so he needs to do it he needs to consume meat but like obviously he also needs to keep his mental uh, strength strong so that he doesn't you know go like uh, like go crazy in front of meat as he like previously did so yeah and I I'm sure he will not after this because he is like he attained that like you know that level where he has become uh, kind of nonchalant in front of meat and he has been able to control his instincts so that is one thing that he has been able to do and i'm sure that he will not forget that so now he will you know like for, for example like human beings like uh like if we are told that you won't be able to eat uh like non-vegetarian stuff meat for a month or a week we can survive you know we can eat vegetables and we can survive like that like he will be a similar in a similar uh, like position like that like humans like if like if given meat he'll be he'll consume meat and he'll become stronger and everything but if not given meat he won't become completely like crazy like he usually did in front of a heart before uh, like by the smell and everything so <clears throat> he will be like that so yeah <coughs> like i was joking before like you know when <coughs> they were going to do the jaw strength uh thing uh a test i was joking like yeah he has become this strong person like a train like after his training or he has become stronger and he's been able to surpass everyone which i'm sure legoshi also thought you know he was quite confident he knew that well let's just see like how much i've improved but <clears throat> like i was joking and like all of that and i kind of thought like there was this two portions in my brain one portion thought that maybe uh, like he won't be able to do it you know because he has not been consuming meat his like his strength is lower that means and that uh, another person kind of thought like uh, maybe he can who knows like uh, like it was a 50 50. so <laughs> like it turns out the thing that i feared kind of like came true like he is really unable to uh, gather his strength for this and uh, I don't know like uh, like obviously he'll go to Gohin with this and ask Gohin like what shall I do like because you know he needs that strength to protect Haru as he thought he would like uh, so he cannot you know give up consuming meat if it means something like this will happen so <clears throat> yeah like the, you know there is a reason why carnivores eat meat and herbivores eat uh, vegetables like there are different reasons the way their stomachs are you know made the way they are like uh, teeth are made each and everything is like uh, suitable for the things that they consume like herbivores have uh, teeth which are you know uh, a little bit flat over the in this like position flat and you know molars and premolars uh, those are the majority of the uh, teeth that they have because they like and there's like you know there's uh, a little bit of um like i'm not sure like, like these kind of stuff i've studied for like a long while ago i kind of forgot so <clears throat> like so that they can chew the um, uh, what do you call it um the grass and like leaves stuff that they eat uh, because of that and the way their like stomachs are also made are used for that reason and the way the carnivores uh, teeth are constructed are you know canines like big canines and like sharp teeth which can uh, like tear flesh from <clears throat> like uh herbivores and other animals like like that is the reason they're made their teeth and everything their stomachs and everything are made for the type of food they consume so if suddenly a herbivore uh, like a carnivore starts eating vegetables obviously like the amount of strength that he was able to uh pull out before he won't be able to do it because of uh you know nutritional deficiency or whatever so yeah <clears throat> So let's just see how he, you know, in the next episode, I'm sure he will we'll get an answer. How he's able to counteract this. Like, will he, like, find a way to counteract it without consuming meat? Or will he be, uh, like, uh, like, start consuming meat again? But obviously he won't get completely crazy in front of meat, as he used to do. So, like, either way it can go. Like, I'm not sure. So, I'm sure, like, Gohin will give him some advice or something. Like, tell him something. So yeah and everything like he has become calm he has become a lot <clears throat> i don't know <laughs> kind of like uh, 
like he's in a weird type of a mood you know like he's calm and everything talking extremely softly and all like he was like this before even before this but still he even became more of it <laughs> and it's like he like you know got enlightenment 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 <clears throat> uh, okay and uh, okay so this episode the first portion of the episode kind of uh, <clears throat> like focused on Louis and I was sure like uh, like I, I kind of thought this that uh, his dad is a bit awkward and the way he talked uh, like <clears throat> just to say okay and he knew you know he knew that he like Louis attempted to take his own life like when the whole thing with Shishi Gumi when he tried to kill himself and <clears throat> And the fact that you're attempting to sever our relationship by, you know, acting violent. <laughs> okay. Um, here it is. Now, I was a bit distracted at this moment, so I really was unable to properly like, uh, see it. Okay, Louis says that you never ca even came to watch my plays. Okay, then he says, having brought, uh, bought you what having bought you with money i spent many years struggling with how best to love you yeah but now that we are communicating at gunpoint this clashing of 13 <coughs> years worth of emotions is <coughs> terribly pleasant all right so yeah like the way he's you know speaking about it is also extremely you know uh, confusing and awkward like like I was sure about this like I kind of thought like this guy the guy who brought Louis uh, basically he's awkward like after you know obviously like Louis is not his own child so he bought him with money and like even told him that I've bought you because I want you to become my you know successor <clears throat> I'll like give you training for that you will study in a good school you'll like uh, like polish your manners and everything <clears throat> like he said all of those stuff to him so i'm sure he was awkward like inside he was a lot awkward like interacting with louis he didn't know how to interact with him after the things that he has said to him and the like the way they met so and he you know he said that i bought you with money and like i tried everything to how to love you but <clears throat> like finally after like this 13 years uh, uh, like our emotions are clashing and I'm liking it <laughs> what a weird and awkward way to say that uh, like uh, <clears throat> I was unable to express my feelings for you like this is like a weird and like, like <laughs> twisted way to say that but oh well and I'm not sure if Louis understood it properly what he was trying to say <clears throat> I'm sure he like he's a smart guy like he's a smart deer so I'm sure like he understands it but you know he has this whole complex about his father where he wants to you know surpass not surpass but uh, get out of his shadow do something himself become strong himself stand up for himself so like this is his way to you know sever the relationship kind of and go on his own way become stronger and another thing that he says here is like I doubt we'll you know be able to go back you know he says that now here's one thing that I believe <clears throat> if he is really able to uh, conquer everything if he's really able to become strong as he wants to he can go back anywhere anytime you know when you are that strong you can forget the past and move like <clears throat> and start over again like the strength is that for that thing like the strength is the emotional strength the like all type of strength uh, like becoming stronger means like excelling in each and every like you know everything so if he is able to reach that level if he is able to become like you know make a name for himself and become one of the best persons and <clears throat> strong persons he can go back like yeah he can do it like <clears throat> i'm sure he can do it he can start over again because he's strong because he is uh like uh capable of forgetting the you know harsh past and starting over again that is the thing like now the way he is now he is not strong enough to forget his past he has a lot of like complex emotions he has a lot of you know <clears throat> complexes about his father about himself a lot of things so because he's weak he's unable to you know look past that and start over 
so that's why he's trying to become stronger if he can do it he can definitely come back and he can start over again with his dad so i think that is one thing that lewis uh, is not really understanding and i'm sure like if he is really able to reach that position uh, like he, he can like do anything so yeah that's one thing and then like lewis meets with uh the i forgot uh, what oh cosmo uh, uh cos her name was cosmo wasn't it or cosmos um just a sec cosmo yeah uh and what was he okapi uh, what was she okapi like uh like uh, before like I, I kind of like like referred to her as a kangaroo when, when she was like introduced and then I like checked it out and I, like I was really like you know suspicious as to is she really a kangaroo or not like she did not look like look like a kangaroo but I don't know why I called her a kangaroo anyways and <laughs> then like I saw that uh, she was an okapi and I like honestly speaking I didn't even know what an okapi was before this and then I checked uh, you know checked the internet out and uh, like like an okapi is like a forest giraffe Cong Congolese giraffe or a zebra giraffe so it's like a, like a zebra and a mixture of a giraffe or something uh, so yeah I didn't even know this you know so it's like a new species came into like uh, my uh, sites like I, I got to know that an okapi is something I didn't, even, I didn't even know what an okapi was anyways so yeah like sh uh, like she comes Cosmo comes and you know gives her gives him a little bit of uh like a, a treat and uh and that's the time when we see that louis was like obviously like he was starving and everything did not eat properly and i mean like uh, like i think like he needs to you know start consuming food again like <laughs> you know the funny thing like both like like louis and legosia are so similar in so, so many ways like both of them are abstaining from food that they actually eat consume like louis is eating uh, like legos is eating vegetables and <laughs> louis is eating like meat like what the hell like they are so similar in so many like places <laughs> oh my god yeah and uh, that was the thing and and there was uh, and there's uh, another similar thing you know uh, the people who are tr kind of training him Lego, uh, like legoshi is getting trained by um <coughs> gohin and um louis is not obviously not getting trained but there is like a guardian type of a person you know a person who looks after him that is that lion i have to remember his name i do not remember it and the one with the glasses so yeah like <laughs> so many similar things uh that and then there was this whole scene with juno and obviously legoshi is as like you know dense as like you know <laughs> even after his training arc he is still as dense as before so like <laughs> oh my god like the way he <laughs> interacted with juno was <laughs> so awkward and everything but <laughs> like I, I, you know I, i'm sure juno is conflicted because of this like <laughs> because of louis's like awkward actions anyways um that and there was this whole thing with uh like gohin and legoshi uh, the training thing that was going on and uh, like legoshi can you know touch meat now he has been able to conquer his instincts and he even like i was kind of impressed that he even like you know uh got to like uh like asked about the backgrounds of the uh, like the origin of the uh, meat that is in front of him uh, like who were they like uh, where where they came from and as he said the burden of life like you know if you consume something like obviously uh, like uh, we cannot um, do that because like we like consume meat uh, chicken uh, or whatever like like uh, like cows uh, pork all of these different kinds of meats like like we know we're consuming it but obviously we cannot like ask the name of the you know pig like this pig we eat ate today what was his name where he came from all of this stuff obviously we cannot do but this is like an you know anthropomorphic kind of a setting so he can do that like uh, these are like you know the, the people that they are like consuming and everything they're once like they are were once 
uh, actual people like doing stuff like he said uh, there was this one lady that uh, like uh, like worked at a, what did he say like worked somewhere and like uh, for and provided for her daughter or something like that like she was a living person and like so he, he like got to know about all like uh, all of her like where this comes from the burden of life in each and everything so that's like that was like a quite an impressive thing that he can he did and that is really like that is possible because this is a, like this has a setting like this this anime has a setting like this obviously this is not something that we can do like we you know as i said like we cannot uh, like ask for the origin of uh, the meat that we're eating you know that the the, uh, the meatloaf that is in front of our uh, like in a in our plate and we're consuming it obviously we cannot ask for where it came from uh, how it came from the origin of it no one knows like no one will even like that's something that is quite impossible for us to do but obviously because of the anime is has a setting like this they can do it this is more like you know in our like if you can make a comparison between the things that they are doing like the the legoshi did in this episode that is like got to know about the you know um thing that uh, like the meat that they are eating the, where they came from uh, another similar thing if it can be uh, compared to our you know our like real life one thing can be done uh, that is like uh, this is also not for everybody like uh, the people for example uh, like there was this whole thing in you know another anime uh, sao like there's one thing that uh, was like expressed there uh, it was like killing people like when you when like there was this whole thing with kirito killing uh, one of those like laughing coughing members and he didn't ever remember who he killed like there was this whole thing with that and that kind of gave him a trauma so <clears throat> that can be comparable to this you know like at that time like he's killing someone like at least like you know like remember his name and how he killed who he was that can be compared to the thing that legoshi is doing so yeah like a similar kind of stuff they are so anyways um, i'm kind of like got on started talking on a different matter but yeah that was that and um then we get this little haru portion where haru <laughs> it's quite mad obviously like that is something that i don't blame her for because like oh, she suddenly after like you know uh, he suddenly after talking about uh, lewis in that moment he started not to con like did not start like did like stopped talking with her and everything and like um <laughs> yeah that is kind of going to mess with haru that messed with her mind and obviously she was quite mad at that and kind of like left a bad aftertaste uh like within her so yeah and <clears throat> like you know there was this whole awkwardness between them uh for the like from the beginning of the season and i think that is totally slowly 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 starting to clear off and i knew this was going to happen like obviously this is a relationship they have like they're completely new in and obviously they're completely different species like one is a carnivore and there is a herbivore so it will take a little bit of time, a little bit of awkwardness, a little bit of, you know, uh, not talking to the other person, getting angry at the other person. But eventually, if they really love each other, it will all, you know, clear out and their bond will get stronger. And uh, a little bit of that thing was shown in this episode, uh, how they, you know, got closure. Uh, but obviously, <laughs> like the way Haru acted, Ligoshi is still... You know uh kind of uh what can i say like he is still kind of like the way haru acted in the end was something that she did to you know uh, hide her embarrassment but obviously Ligoshi is as uh, simple as you know uh, he's quite simple so he was unable to understand the <laughs> the way like you know they like haru acted that he she was trying to hide her embarrassment and she thought like like lego she thought maybe i did something bad so yeah like uh, like nothing to do lego she like <laughs> like you'll have to you know uh understand all these small small little uh ways uh haru thinks if you uh like that that's like basically her being a sundere so <laughs> like <laughs> like you'll have to get used to that uh that and um the and then there's the last portion with uh the jaw jaw strength and stuff 
which I like discussed before, as I said, that as he like stopped consuming meat, uh, I'm sure that was the reason why this happened. And like, uh, like he is like he's not even at the same strength that he had before. He became weaker. So I'm sure this will, you know, uh, kind of uh, frighten him, and also kind of, uh, you know. <sighs> like he will become a little bit of confused at this because he was thinking that he was doing everything to become stronger so it kind of made him weaker so i'm sure he'll go to gohin with this and ask uh, his advice and i don't know what gohin gohin is going to say but at least i think that ligosh will against have to start consuming meat but because he is a carnivore like you cannot you know put that behind you have to consume meat but obviously he has been able to conquer his instincts so he won't become you know crazy in front of the smell of meat like that is the thing that he needed to do and he was able to do it so yeah yeah guys so that was this episode this was um big stars season 2 episode number 6 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys, um, I'll be back uh, with another episodes of Beastars Season 2 next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.